K9 Thunder. Hello and welcome to another exciting video from War Secrets. The ability for artillery to shoot and quick maneuver on the battlefield is an ever-growing necessity for any modern military arsenal. This is why today we will be talking about a South Korean developed and manufactured K9 Thunder which is widely considered as the world's most advanced self-propelled artillery system. So stick with the video till the end to know the complete details. Now, let's begin. Development The K9 Thunder is a 155mm or 52 caliber self-propelled howitzer built for the Republic of Korea Armed Forces by Hanwha Taekwin, formerly known as Samsung Taekwin. In all types of theaters, the howitzer is designed to offer effective and precise long-range fire support. The K9 has a fast rate of fire at a long range and is built on high-mobility chassis. The K9 Thunder development program began in earnest 1989. In 1996, the first prototype was released and tested. In 1998, the design phase was finished and serial manufacturing began in 1999. Design The hull and turret of the K9 Thunder platform are composed entirely of welded steel armor protection material with a maximum thickness of 19mm. The commander, driver, gunner, assistant gunner, and loader make up the crew of this self-propelled howitzer. The driver is seated on the left side of the hull with the engine on his right. The artillery gun system is housed in a turret at the back of the hull. On the right side of the turret, the commander and gunner are seated. A single entrance is positioned on the left side of the turret, and the crew can load ammunition through a big door at the rear of the hull that opens to the right. A modular azimuth position system an automatic fire control system, a motorized cannon elevation or depression, and a turret traverse system are all included in the design. The hydro-pneumatic suspension system offers excellent ground clearance and agility on a variety of turrets. Armament Its main weapon is the 155mm or 52 caliber gun. It has a maximum rate of fire of 6 to 8 rounds per minute for 3 minutes with a burst rate of 3 shots per 15 seconds. For one hour, it can fire at a rate of 2 to 3 rounds per minute. Within the K9, a total of 48 projectiles and their associated charges are carried for immediate use. The K9 Thunder is built to fit today's tactical concepts of shoot and scoot. The gun has a maximum range of 18 kilometers and can fire an M107 high explosive shell. The HE rocket assisted projectile has a maximum range of 30 kilometers when fired with a 5 zone unicharge. It can also fire a K307 projectile with a 6 zone modular charge for a range of nearly 40 kilometers. The onboard fire control equipment regulates the gun's firing. The data might be sent over a data digital radio link or over voice communications. The projectiles are automatically loaded onto the ammunition tray and are ready to shoot. When in standby mode, the K9 Thunder can fire within 30 seconds or 60 seconds when moving. The automatic fire control system included in the K9A1 update contains a text-based DOS system, a graphical window system, an electronic time data loader, and a digital map. One 12.7mm M2 heavy machine gun is installed on the right side of the turret on the forward section of the commander's cupola for self-defense against infantry or for anti-aircraft purposes. Self-protection Crew and onboard equipment are protected by the K9 Thunder's wielded steel which is constructed to protect the crew against 155mm shell fragments, 14.5mm armor-piercing bullets, and anti-personal mines. For nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare, an air purification system and onboard crew gas mask are supplied. This isn't surprising, given that North Korea, South Korea's major adversary, mainly relies on its WMD stockpiles to compensate for its lack of modern conventional firepower. Engine and Mobility The MTU MT881 KA500 8-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine powers the K9 Thunder which is mated to an Allison ATDX 110-5A3 transmission. The engine produced 1,000 horsepower and has a power-to-weight ratio of 21.6 horsepower per ton. 
The enhanced K9A1 variant's auxiliary power unit may give up to 8 kilowatts of additional power. The motor technology allows for a high speed of nearly 67 kilometers per hour and a cruising range of 360 kilometers. K10 Ammunition Resupply Vehicle A K10 automatic ammunition resupply truck based on a K9 chassis joins the K9 Thunder. The K10 is a tracked vehicle that is designed to the main artillery battery. The K10 ARV can transfer 12 rounds per minute through a conveyor belt automatically. This prevents the crew from being exposed to the fighting environment. Each K10 can carry 104 rounds of ammunition and supports two K9 Thunder. It's powered by the same 1,000 horsepower engine. In addition to the South Korean military, this vehicle is also utilized by other countries that use the K9. K9A1 and K9A2 Upgrades For increased efficiency, the K9A1 model has features such as an autonomous fire control system, a driver's night periscope, and an auxiliary power system. During the day and night, the upgraded K9A1 provides enhanced range, a faster fire rate, and more mobility. Hanwha offered K9A2 a more sophisticated version of the K9 Howitzer for the UK's mobile fire platform program which aims to improve the British Army's artillery capabilities. The K9A2 is expected to improve the artillery rate of fire, automatic ammo loading, and other capabilities. The advanced variant is now being evaluated. Hanwha Defense, an agency for defense development, a Korean government-owned research and development institution, are implementing the development program. Mine protection kits, an unmanned turret, and composite rubber tracks are all part of the suggested solution for the UK program. Hanwha's robotic K10 ammunition resupply truck will be incorporated as well, allowing for fully automated resupply. T155 Fertina Turkish variant The Turkish variant of K9 Thunder is the T155 Fertina. For the T155, the major equipment was kept, including the gun system, automatic ammo feeding system, and diesel engine. Turret design, chassis, navigation system, and electronic systems have been changed significantly in the Turkish variant. The first eight T155s were manufactured in South Korea under a license agreement with Samsung Techwin, while the remaining batch over 300 T155s is being built in Turkey at the 1st Army Maintenance Center Command at the Pazari. Users In December 1998, the South Korean government granted Samsung Aerospace Industries a contract for the K9 Thunder. In 1999, the Republic of Korea Army received the first batch of K9. Turkish Land Forces Command and Samsung Tech Win secured a contract for K9 Thunder in late 2001. Fertina or T155 K-M Obus was the Turkish variant's name. In 2004, Turkey acquired the first 8th Fertina Howitzer. In December 2009, the Turkish Army received a total of 150 units. Larsen and Tobro, an Indian multinational engineering company, struck an agreement with Hanwha Techwin in April 2017 for the transfer of knowledge to build the K9 Vajra sub-propelled artillery for the Indian Army indigenously. The K9 Vajra sub-propelled artillery fire control system, direct firing system, and ammunition management systems were all developed in-house by LNT. The final K9 Vajra Hoetzer was delivered to the Indian Defense Ministry in February 2021 bringing the total number of K9 Vulture delivered to 100. The Australian Army selected the K9 Howitzer as the best option for the protected mobile firepower requirement under the LAND 8116 program in 2020. The project will be provided the Australian Army with a ground system that is lethal, well-armored, and strategically mobile. In addition to these, the K9 chassis has been transferred to Poland for use in their indigenous KRAB 155mm self-propelled artillery system, with 36 units being built in South Korea and the remaining 84 in Poland. That's all for today, folks. We hope you found the video informative and fun to watch. Also, tell us in the comment section your views about the K9 Thunder. And if you enjoyed the video, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Goodbye!